I love cash. This notion that you should get rid of cash and cash is dropping in value because of inflation, there's some validity to that. And then it's also just wrong. Because when the economy changes, cash is king. There's a security and a confidence that comes with cash. I'm convinced that the reverse is true. This lie that if you get rid of all of your cash, you'll be hungry, just creates more stress. I can tell you that my accumulation of cash gave me strength, gave me confidence, gave me comfort, gave me the ability to walk away from a deal or a table because I didn't have to have it every single time. Cash is still king. I still leverage debt as well. But this notion that you should have all this debt and no cash breaks my heart because that advice works great when the economy is going up. All these people who tell you they get rid of all their cash and they're leveraged to the hilt and they're really rich right now, wait till those values come down and the equity isn't there. If you can end up leveraging debt in order to buy an appreciating asset, you should consider it. But what a lot of people do is they go, well, I can get the money cheap. They don't really scrutinize. You make your money in most things on the buy. So stop using debt on depreciating assets and then even debt on appreciating assets. There's a threshold to which you should be doing that with, but you should be scrutinizing when you do it. I'm a big believer in cash. I'm a big believer in savings. There's different levels of wealth. Financial independence just basically means that you saved enough money where that you don't have the necessity for your job. But ask yourself this right now. What if you went six months with no income? Can you live? Can you pay all your bills? If you had no income coming in, do you have enough cash saved? Some of those investments that you've leveraged can't be liquidated. So these people who have told you get rid of all of your cash, use debt to buy a bunch of assets, what happens if that cash flow is not there? So ask yourself this right now. Can you go six months of paying all of your bills if you lost your job? How about six years? How about 60 years? How much cash do you need? How much revenue do you need to live long term so you don't have to work anymore? That's called getting financially independent. Wealth, that's a totally different thing. You do not become wealthy by mistake you become wealthy by your habits you want to have more confidence when you walk in a room have some money saved you want to have more bliss and peace in your life have a pattern of being frugal have a pattern of being smart with your money